Okay, and now we are ready to talk about lab. Um, and like I said there, it's academic support. So lab refers to a one-to-one -one or, one, or a teacher to small group sessions between students and teachers, which augment the traditional classroom instruction by combining study, research, and collaboration. Uh, so what does that end up looking like? Um, at CDS, lab has several iterations and each division is a little different. And our current form looks like this. In the high school, 20 minutes every day after house is available for lab. And so teachers can make appointments with students and students can make appointments with teachers. So it's, it's two way. Um, students who want extra support and feel like I need more help or I wanna know more about this topic, they can book time with a teacher. Um, we have it set up through Google Calendar with appointment slots. And so if a teacher is available, students can see that on their calendar and then they can make an appointment and come and visit. Um, and then more often what happens, I would say probably 90% of the time in ninth grade is teachers telling a student, you need to come to lab because you need support. Um, the, me the meetings are usually only five to 10 minutes out of the 20 minute time. So usually in 20 minutes, you can do two to four meetings. Um, it's every day of the week. So it happens five times a week, adds up to quite a few bit of time. It's 100 minutes a week of that. Um, middle school. The middle school is also the same 20 minutes every day after house. The teachers can make appointments with students. Students can make appointments with teachers. Um, often students opt to have recess time. So our 20 minutes for lab is also kind of a quote unquote recess. And so um, if it's, of course, the middle school students, it's much more often that a teacher tells a student, you need support, you need to come here, than it is for a student to say like, I wanna go and talk with my teacher. It does happen, but it's less common. And so a lot of times the students use that time to play. We have recess in a couple of different rooms and they really enjoy it. Um, it, it actually is great for them. They get a chance to blow off steam. Middle school students are still young. They, they have a tough time sitting all day. And so it's great for them to have an opportunity to, to have an additional time to kind of run around and just enjoy life, which is what they, a lot of them choose to do. Um, in first program, which is our elementary school, lab is offered through a variety of clubs that students can choose from each quarter. So each quarter, the selection of clubs changes. Clubs meet in our lab time, as we call it, and that's in the afternoon on Monday and Wednesday and Tuesday and Thursday for 40 minute block at the end of the day. And it, like I said, it looks kind of like clubs. One of them uh, from last year that was really popular was uh, Dungeons and Dragons Club. So there was a role playing club. Another one that's been really popular is there's a swimming club that meets two times a week. And so several of the teachers help facilitate that so that there's like, excuse me, the PE teacher is in there with um, several other teachers who help support because that club's really popular. There's often 40 students in that club, uh, which is its maximum number it can, it can sustain. Um, and so that's kind of how they look in elementary. It's a bit of a different beast um, just because the nature of the kids, the kids are different. So it looks different. And elementary students um, oftentimes do ask for extra support or extra help when that happens for them or at other times like students um, sometimes will arrange to meet with their teacher before school or after school for if they need extra support in an actual class um, so that usually happens on its own uh, it's uncommon for us because our class sizes in elementary are quite small um, normally they're like under 12 students in a class, it's 12 or under. And so each student has a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with a teacher. And then we also do have learning support. So it's not that common that students in our elementary school need um, the lab support of, of what the middle school, high school has. And that completes our overview of house assignment and lab. Uh, looking forward to having our Q&A session with you on March 31st. I'm sure you have a ton of questions. At that time, we will be sharing with you um, a variety of resources uh, with you as well during that Q&A time to give examples of like more things about house and different iterations we've had in the past, different things you could do and different things to do with lab and assignment. And so we're looking forward to meeting with you then and answering all your questions and have a great day.